tried out for the volleyball team. What was that like getting the rejection letter? It was kind of hard. I mean, I wouldn't know. Hello and happy Monday, everyone. Good morning. So happy that you're here. I tried out something different. I didn't like saying happy Monday. It's like, hello and good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Welcome back. It's a new week here. We are getting started. Things are moving along. I can't even believe. I had the busiest, craziest week last week and it was all really good things. A lot of things that just made me super busy. And in the end, eventually I feel like I kind of got a little grumpy. Back here today, this week looks a little thinner. Hoping that it stays that way instead of finding things to pile in on the schedule last minute. I have some time at home today. My car is actually gone. My car needed an oil change. I guess it's a thing nowadays that like if you schedule a service on your car, they'll come pick up your car for you, take it to the dealership, do whatever it needs to be done, and then deliver it back to you. So I've been doing that. We've been doing that with Brandon's truck. And today my car needed an oil change. And also the driver's side mirror has like a little tiny crack in it. I'm like, how would that even happen? I mentioned that to them whenever I was making my appointment. They're gonna fix it for me. I'm kind of like, can't leave the house, which is awesome because then I'm forced to get things done here. So a couple things as far as like laundry and stuff. Now I just decided I'm gonna make kids some muffins, something fun to snack on. I got these Lehigh Mills muffle, muffle mixes, muffle mixes, muffin mixes. I'm gonna make, they're just raspberry ones. I got these fun new little silicone cups from Amazon that I wanted to try. So I'm gonna use those today, make some little muffins using my time watching some Gilmore Girls while I laundry or make muffins. It passes the time nicely. I really enjoy, I really enjoy Gilmore Girls. Taking me, I think this is my fourth time trying to get through it because it's a really difficult one to start. It starts out very slow. I think I'm on season four. We're moving along. We're doing good. I'm curious. I am on season four. I've already got dinner started, you guys. I feel like I'm just like crushing this Monday. Dinner started, making an after school snack for the kids, waiting for them to come home. I might send a couple of these with Brandon because two of the boys will not be coming home from school right away because I don't even know if Brandon mentioned this the other day, but our boys decided to try out for the volleyball team and Ryler and crew both got callbacks. So they'll be staying after school. I'll send Brandon with a couple of muffins for them. <laughs> you can have a little snack at school. Hazy and Brex will definitely love having a little after school snack. Kids are back home. Mom has been baking up a storm in here, Mom. Really happy. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Is this like the holiday season? You got that baking mindset. Is it the snow outside? You just want to stay in and make some comfort food? I mean, I guess maybe. <laughs> or is that I was so busy last week, I wasn't even home at all. And when I'm home, I feel like baking. So. It's kind of fun. And especially when we get to reap those rewards, Mom made some delicious muffins that the kids are already diving into. Brexy doodle. Yummy. Those are pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. I may yeah. have already had two of them. I'm excited because mom made her chocolate chip cookies just over there over her shoulder. And so I've had half of one of those trying to pace myself, okay? I just had one. Okay, that's pretty because good. Because I needed to try and see if the chocolate chips were good. Yeah, I mean, you gotta yeah. quality control those things. And then we've got some sugar cookie bars. Like, I know. mom's got a trio of deliciousness going on in the kitchen right now. I don't even know what's happening. I, all I know is it's made me tired. All I know is that I like it. Brexy Doodle, he's gonna go burn off some of those calories after consuming them here because he's got yeah. his fresh new gym clothes on, the new shorts anyway. That shirt's yeah. an old dirty rag we found in he's the bottom of the garage. More of these shorts. He's gonna go downstairs, hit the treadmill. He's got on his new shorts, he's got his brand new gym shoes down there. Yep. He's ready to rock, bro. So I will leave you to it. Go get a workout. I'll probably come down and check okay. in on you. I've got something pretty exciting that I'm putting together in my office right now. Okay. Maybe while you work out, I'll do that and we can just kind of hang out together. Okay. Okay, love you, bro. Love you, bro. The other kids you may be wondering, not home from school. Well, Hazy is. She's over there reading because she's actually really into reading right now and we love that. Keep at it, girl. We will just let her do that as much as she wants. She brings down like piles of books. It used to be like a fight to bring down one book. Now she'll bring out four. Just be like, I'm going to just read here all day. Other two boys are actually on callbacks for the volleyball team. We talked about this kind of briefly in the vlog that they had tried out for volleyball. We were kind of surprised. We didn't know that they knew the rules to volleyball or if they ever played volleyball or even knew what it was. But they tried out for the team and made first callback. So today is the second day of tryout. So they're actually at the school trying out again for the volleyball team. I actually brought them a couple of baggies of these muffins that mom sent along as good luck muffins as well as a little sustenance, a little bit of nutrition and energy going into Our the tryout there because you got to have that energy. They're on a full day of school right into hitting that volleyball. Know, whatever you do. Even coming home today? I don't know that Riley's going to be here for more than two minutes because he is actually going to come home and immediately going out to a friend's surprise birthday party at Top Golf. He's got a buddy who thinks he's going to go play Top Golf with his family when he shows up. It's going to be a bunch of his friends there waiting for him. So that should be a lot of fun. That's, so fun. That's going to take him out of the mix for most of the day, which I feel bad because what I'm working on downstairs is 150,000% up his alley. Riley would love it. It is what we traditionally do together, hand in hand, and never miss a moment to unbox something epic together. It's maybe the most epic thing I've ever unboxed in the world of 
technology. I did actually, mom doesn't love it, I'll be honest, she doesn't <laughs> love it. But I did actually get clearance from him because I did feel so guilty about it. I said, bro, considering the fact that it got delivered today and you will not be home the entire day, would you be all right with me opening this box and getting somewhat started? He agreed. He was a thousand percent on board. He said, of course, dude, I would not expect you to wait that long because honestly, it'd be even longer than that because then tonight we were actually doing a Dune 1 premiere in the THWB cinema because as you know, Dune 2 taking the world by storm right now. We are going to go see Dune 2 in theaters and IMAX as it's meant to be shown but because Ryler has not seen Dune 1. I just realized he's not going to be here for most of it so maybe he won't be able to see it. I can watch it with him anytime. But then Adam, my movie buddy and his son have not seen Dune 1. So we thought, hey, let's watch in the theater, get a near IMAX experience. At least the sound will be fantastic. And then we'll get our tickets for Dune 2. So we're actually doing a little movie night here at the house. Today's kind of stacking up. I'm gonna go in my office, okay? Okay, I can see you from here. Okay. It honestly pains me to be doing this without Rye Guy. Here we have, I don't even know the name, a buddy of mine just told me where to go and what to get. It's the iBuyPower Y40 Creator something something. But I gotta show you how cool this is. It'll look cooler once I get it all hooked up. It comes like mostly put together, but then they send the graphics cards separate just because the graphics card's so big. So this is the 4090, which is, I believe, the most powerful graphics card on planet Earth, the Slim Edition. So I don't really know much about that, but this is what came with it. I wanted to get a kit that came with a 4090. Right now I gotta piece some things together Together, get it all powered up and then Brexy Doodle has let me use his monitor that he's been using for gaming on his Xbox to help me transfer things from PC to PC because this one will be plugged into the TV on my wall. This is my old computer. This Alienware that I've had it sits over there behind Wade and then it plugs into that TV and that's my monitor and the HDMI comes down Wade's back and if you don't know this is Wade, say hi Wade. It goes down his sweatshirt so you don't actually see the cords. It's like my version of the hidden in the wall setup. Comes down his shirt, out his pant leg and plugs into the PC down here. So I'm just making sure I get everything that I want to off of this one onto this one, but first I have to get this one powered up and running. So I've got some setup and install to do. But let me just show you my favorite part of the whole thing so far. I know once I turn it on, it's gonna be all of the RGB lighting, but watch this. This is how you get into the computer. Should be using two hands, so let's see how this goes. Up and out, and the glass goes off to the side. And then you have all of this beautiful, beautiful technology to tinker with, to upgrade, to modify, to customize, to beautify, to gamify. Anyways, I'm pumped. As you can tell, Mindy couldn't care less. So I've got to take a hard pause on the setup here. Rye Guy is back from volleyball tryouts. We find out actually tonight they made the team, you guys. So make sure you stick around and find out because we should be getting the results in email from the coach today. I did not know that it would be that fast. I thought we'd have to wait until tomorrow and have the little sheet up on the door. But we are told that we'll be getting an email with a practice schedule tonight on whether or not Crew and Ryler made the team. I should say Crew or Ryler. Both of them tried out. We'll be waiting and anticipating an email one way or the other from them. But right now, as I said earlier, Ryler's got to get to a party at Top Golf. It is a surprise. Party. This kid thinks he's gonna show up with just his family and have some fun. All of the friends are gonna be there to ambush him. So it's also a great opportunity for Riley to take a little bit longer drive as he's been doing more and more driving on his permit. He wants to shake up the variety. He does that same route to school and back pretty much all the time, maybe to church and back, but nothing really outside of that. So this is an opportunity for him to get a little bit more driving in. Last night he went all the way down to see Maddie and he said that was one of his favorite drives that he's ever done, him and mom. And it provides some really great one-on-one -on -one time where we can just talk, working through driving and new conditions, getting on the freeway, things like that. It's just a fun father-son thing. So I'm gonna put a pause on this. It's going pretty well so far. I'll do the big reveal here a little bit later. Rag Guy did come in and take a sneak peek, taking him to Top Golf, and then I'm gonna rush back here for a little Dune at night with the dudes here in the theater. I just got home with Ryler tonight. He went out to a friend's birthday party. Kruby Doo's been hanging out here with a buddy too. Having a fun night. But boys, you guys had kind of a big day. Yeah. What happened today? Anything like cool or? Not really. Shout out for the volleyball team. What was that like getting the rejection letter? It was kind of hard. I mean, I wouldn't know. Crew <laughs> <laughs> would not know. Would not know. What it's like to be rejected because Kruby made the volleyball team and Rye Guy made the volleyball team. Yep. You guys freaking crushed it. Okay, so Crew, you walk around the house all the time like fake dribbling a ball. What does that look like with the volleyball? Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> you guys are going to have so much it's fun so together. Fun. So much fun together. Guess what? They start practice when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. After school. Every day. Every day. Every day. In fact, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, this boy's gonna have double practices because he has basketball at night. These boys have got their schedules locked and loaded. Lots going on. But Ryler had talk of buying the entire team's shoes. Are we doing that? You are not taller than me. Are we buying the entire team's shoes again? I'll take a look tonight. We'll see. We're gonna have to do some looking around. Yes. Super proud of you guys. Just yeah, so you guys I'm know. So and I said this whenever you tried out for Stuco and basketball and all the things. I never would have dared try out for that kind of stuff. I know. Major props to them. Having confidence. Just being that. brave. It's gonna be so fun. I like all my friends around the team. Every single person. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be yeah. so fun, you guys. I'm, I'm so, so proud of you. Okay, well, tomorrow, you guys better go get some rest right now because tomorrow starts first day of practice. Yeah. You guys are gonna need all the rest you can get. It's crazy. So excited for them. You're probably wondering what Brandon's up to right now. He does know the amazing results of the boys making the volleyball team, but he's downstairs hanging out with his new love. Yep. Yeah, his computer. No, I'm just kidding. He's actually not. He has some friends over tonight watching Dune. So they are getting ready to go see it in theaters. My guy got home late from a party. So he's going to head down there in a little bit and watch the show with them. Brandon's new computer is crazy awesome. He's been talking to me nonstop about it. So much so that now my phone is suggesting these computers to me because our phones are always listening. <laughs> so creepy. Just wrapping up our screening of Dune Part 1 here in the Bingham Theater. It got out a little bit late. One of the benefits of having the in-home theater experience is of course that you can pause for bathroom breaks, candy breaks, kids want a hug and kiss goodnight breaks, any break that you need. So it extends the already sort of long two hour, 40 minute runtime to a little bit longer. So it is late here. What that means is I have not had a chance to finish setting up the new PC. It's doing its thing right now, updating drivers, installing recommended software. I then got to transfer kind of all of the information programs programs, games, things like that from this beast over to that new beast. That'll probably take a minute. Haven't had a chance to finish that up. Probably won't be able to tonight, but thankfully, Rag Guy did get a chance to come in here, check it out, geek out with me. He is just wowed by the entire thing. Let me tell you something that we are all wowed by, and that is the Bingham boys back on a school sports team together, making the school volleyball team. Our minds are collectively blown. I think one, just because I don't know that they've ever expressed an interest in volleyball. Two, I don't know how much they've played. And so for them to put themselves out there to go try out just to see how it goes, and then to come back and actually make the team is incredible. But I think beyond that, we were just talking the other day about how much we love that Bingham Brothers, two bros on the same school team vibe, that feeling, how much we love their basketball adventure and how it was such a once in a lifetime thing. So unique, probably never going to see it again. Little did we know, just weeks later, they would be joining the school volleyball team. So again, going through that same Bingham Bros on the team experience, just now with volleyball, we can't wait to follow this newfound passion as they pursue this, have a good time doing once again, very unique and twice in a lifetime, maybe opportunity to be on a school team together. Very excited for that. And they're diving in both feet right away. They've got practice tomorrow, I think. So it is starting right away. But like I said, it is late. The movie got out late. And so everyone else is in bed. I'm going to close it down here from the office as the computer continues to update. So I guess me and Wade will say goodnight to you guys. But thank you so much for being a part of our family, being part of our lives, coming here, showing up every day to hang out with us. If you haven't yet, go on down below, subscribe, hit that like button. We continue to bring you into the daily awesomeness of whatever happens day in and day out here at the Bingham House. Thank you guys for being a part of it. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Something fun to snack on. I got these Lehigh Mills muffle muffle mixes. Muffle mixes.